Creating a swimming pool can be very challenging. You have to align the UVs, blending materials, and it's very hard to get everything right. But I figured out how to do it and I'd like to share this with you in the following 10 minutes. So here we go. So the first thing we do is we start with the cube and we're transforming this so it has the size of the pool. And we also want the walkway. So what we need to do is select the vertices and we're extruding these to the right. And we're selecting the other vertices. Now we go on top and we do the same for the left part and we end up with the bottom. So this is very important. So the next thing is we're making the walls and extruding this to the top. So we're using a value of 10 meters and this is more than enough for the swimming pool. Then we grab the camera, we change the focal length to 23 so we have some more space to render. And next we focus on the window designs and therefore we add edge lines. And we work on the blender grids so we can align them well. We want to have a total of six windows so we're selecting them in the face selection mode. And if we have everything selected we're extruding these to the rear. And now we have a rough block out of the windows. And we now focus on the materials and therefore we're making these square grids. We're doing this by adding edge lines and we can now make a border for this pool, for example. Now we jump to the next part. We're creating pillars, creating these faces. It's very easy. You just extrude them to the top and then we focus on the section between the windows and we want to extrude these as well. Go to the top view and do extrude on manifold. Very important. So now we jump into the tiles. Uh, we're starting with the white tiles and we make a new UV map. We're aligning these on the pillar and as soon as it looks good on the pillar, we're cool. We jump to the other side, we have to align them, but as soon as this is good, everything is good. All right, then we look at the pool itself. Uh, we want to have a blue tile, these are smaller. Um, and we also want to have a material on the border, a concrete texture. So I like to lower the rear part of the pool. We're selecting these vertices, we're dragging them down. But if we take a look at the material, we can see stretch UVs and we have to solve this. So there's an option for this. We're opening the end tab and there's this option, correct faces attribute. And then if we lower it again and we take a look at the uh, texture, it's now correct. So now we're going to add some lane lines on the bottom of the pool. We're adding some edge lines to make this work. Uh, and if they're all set, we have to select these faces and we have to do this for all three of them. And if we've done that, we go to the material editor, we select another tile, we assign this. And I also like to make it a bit darker. So now we jump to the windows. We have to model them from a plane. We're extruding this and we also have window glass in the middle. Then we're merging this window inside of the window frame and using an array modifier to duplicate them. So we have six windows. We have to improve the glass shader. So what we do, we're adding a math node and we combine this with a transparent shader. And now we have correct lighting in the scene. We also have to flip the glass and now it's display correct. All right, let's jump to the next part. And this is adding some plaster on top of the white tiles. And we continue with the material work. So what we do is selecting the faces around the pool and then we can apply the blue tiles. We have to align them so they're fitting. And then we're taking a look at the scene so we can continue with some more work. And because we're making an abandoned pool, I like to start adding some dirt on the tiles, starting with a noise texture, but we have to adjust this so it looks a bit more realistic. We're doing this with a map range node. And now we have this dirt inside of the tiles and it looks much better than the original clouds. I like to use this shader also on the blue tiles in the pool. Uh, we have to make some small adjustments like changing the heat map so it's matching with the tiles and also like to lower the roughness on these tiles. All right, that's pretty much it. So we jump to the next part. We also add a little bit of dirt on the plaster on the top. Just a little bit. This is too much, but this looks much better. So I like to make a final adjustment on the dirt. We're lowering it so it's matching the floor and then we soften the dirt so it's now blending better. Then we jump to the pool stair. We're using a cylinder and we're putting this in place and using the spin tool to spin this 180 degrees. 
So after we've finished with the spin tool, we can extrude this down. And then we're finished with the modeling. Uh, we're adding a material, a steel material, and then we can duplicate the main part. Then we focus on the stairs themselves we're using this simple beam, we're using an array modifier to duplicate them using a value of six. We also have to model these end caps. They are important so they blend well with the swimming pool and adding a little bevel on top of it. So we're finished with the stair. So we can duplicate the stair to the other side of the pool and then we're done with the stairs. So we jump back to the materials and I like to add a water borderline. So we start with adding an edge line. We're scaling it and we're dragging this on top of these tiles. And we need two of these. We have to scale the other one as well and matching this with the other edge line. And as soon as we're finished, we have to select all these faces and we're assigning this on the darker tile. And now we have a water border line. And I'd like to do the same thing for the white tiles. So we start with adding two edge lines. We're aligning these and then we're selecting the faces. And we have to go all around in the pool so they're all selected. And then we can assign this on the blue tiles. We're not done yet. We have to align them so they are matching. And then we're taking a render and we, now we have this blue line in the scene. So an important detail in this swimming pool are the starting blocks. And we're extracting them from the concrete border. Then we're extruding this and we have to shape it so it looks like a starting block. And we put this part down. We're adding a concrete texture so it's matching with the other material. And I like to have a total of these three starting blocks. And then it is done. All right, so I like to also brighten the plast a little bit because it was a bit too dark. Then we focus now on the benches, I like to put some planks on top of it. So we add a cube and we're going to transform this so it has the shape of the plank. And then we go to the other side and we have to make it a little bit smaller. And then we jump to the material editor. We import the textures and then we can go to the UV editor. Um, we have to align the planks with the individual planks on this texture. It takes a little bit of time. Um, and then we also add a bevel modifier and that works great on the reflections. And we duplicate the plank and uh, we need a count of four uh, that works the best for this bench. And don't forget to align it uh, with the other planks, otherwise it look repetitive. Okay, on this point, you can duplicate all the planks. And as soon as you're finished, you can also drop them on the other side. And we also move these UVs a little bit so everything looks a bit original. And that's pretty much it. So we're almost done with this scene. And what we like to do now is importing some props. And we're starting with our water bottle. We're putting it close to the window so it can catch some sunlight. And we're also dropping a bottle on the ground. So rotating it a little bit and that looks okay. And we have these chairs. Uh, we're putting these on the other side. We're duplicating it and we're rotating this prop as well. I mean, it's an abandoned place so we can drop it on the ground. So that's pretty much it for the props. I don't want to overwhelm the viewer. So now we take a look at the viewport and I can see we have to make some small adjustments like this water bottle is on the blue line and moving it a little bit to the left and this water bottle can move a little bit backwards. That's pretty much it for the changes. And I like to add a small detail. We're moving these tiles backwards. Of course, we have to add new UVs to solve it, but then the water can go away uh, from the pool. Of course, this is an abandoned pool, but we have to add this detail. And we also add this little detail on the bottom of the pool. We have to make a hole and then we just blend this with the bottom. All right, that's pretty much it. So the modeling work is done and we're doing the finishing touch by adding a bevel modifier on the main mesh, just using a low value. And we're doing the same thing for the window frames. Okay, and here you can see the result with and without a bevel. Okay, now it's time to use the proportional editing. We're going to make a lot of small changes on the main mesh and this adds a lot of realism in the scene because 3D is very sharp and edgy and be making these changes, uh, you're making it more realistic. Okay, so the next thing is adding a surface imperfection texture for the glass. We simply import this in the glass shader. And if we take a look, it looks very dark. So what we need to do is adding a color ramp so we can adjust it a little bit more. 
So we're going to make the final render and for this I like to select the camera. I'm lowering the focal length to something like 19 millimeters and we have to move the camera a little bit forward. What I also like to do is adding a fog box. We're just using a very little value but it adds this little bit of atmosphere in the scene and I kind of like that in the final result. Okay, we also do a little bit of color adjustments because it was just plain raw. Then we jump to the compositor and adding an RGB curves not going to do anything fancy but I just want to have a specific type of coloring in the scene that I prefer and if you want to build this pool yourself you can watch the two-hour tutorial which explains everything in detail it's available in my add-on and you can watch it in HD or 4k and this add-on includes all the presets the materials the props and you can simply drag and drop this in the scene so it's a very useful add-on available on my patreon or the blender market the super half market and uh, yeah whatever you prefer so thanks for watching and bye bye